Black Panther lives. It's already the hottest film of the year, but internet trolls are trying to form a black cloud over Black Panther. KCAL 9's Christy Fajardo has more on fake threats circulating on social media. My son, it is your time. As Black Panther was hitting the big screen, the revolution will not be televised. Just... internet trolls were at the keyboard, spreading fake reports that they were attacked at screenings because they are white. And as one person tweeted, they didn't even have the courage to have a buddy hit them in the face, borrowing photos like this one. BuzzFeed did a screen grab of this tweet. That's Rob Porter's ex-wife. The photo contributed to the resignation of the White House staffer. This pic is from a fight at a soccer match in England. And this image is from a makeup portfolio. It's America. It's a, you know, it's a, unfortunately a reflection of the racism that still exists in our country. But I would say that this is probably a select you know, a few people. I think that's terrible. Why would they at all go for saying this one movie, right? This one movie that has people of color in it and this, these trolls are saying they're being attacked. That was the reaction of moviegoers in Burbank tonight, out to see the latest Marvel film about a black superhero set in Africa who saves the world. It's not clear who's behind the hoaxes, and many of the accounts have now been suspended. I know that it'll still be really successful despite this garbage. If that was the motive, people are not staying home. The movie is already shattering records. Uh, my son was, is, a, is a comic book fan, so he came to see it twice. As of Friday night, the movie had already raked in a whopping $76 million. And in case you're wondering how to spot fakes on social media, if you suspect an image is not what it appears, drag the picture into Google Images. If it's been published before, it'll tell you the source. In Burbank, Christy Fajardo, KCAL 9 News.